Hi guys, I am Vivek Shukla here and today we will be doing textiles class 12th Maharashtra HSC board chapter 1 Bool. Bool is cool. So let's start. So here we go. See in the uh, book you have 10 chapters, right? Do we have 10 or 12? <coughs> 10. Fashion designing is the last one. Initially a wool, silk, man, mineral fibers, rayon, nylon, fabric, uh, construction finishes, laundry reagent, excuse me, dyeing and painting, right? Fine. So wool, silk, fibers, rayon, viscon. All those five chapters are based on specific qualities. So start with wool, the chapter one. Wool, wool, what do we call? Okay, wool is cool. So this was, let's start with, may I make it very interesting for you first of all, second what we'll be doing word by word and we'll be doing the whole entire syllabus so that you, you can uh, score maximum in the board exams, right? Okay, uh, here we go, excuse me. Uh, the first thing I think you should start with is not the page number 1 but the page number 10. Yes, look here, there's something very interesting. Do you know, fabric made from wool, when heat, moisture and pressure is applied to wool fibers, they interlock with each other to form a sheet called like fiber. This is called felting, F-E-L-T, felting, okay, fine. And the fiber is called felt, correct? This is very important. That's the reason that, uh, uh, you know, uh, why wool becomes very hard and soft at the same time. Uh, otherwise, it, it, it is a loose sheet. You apply a little bit of heat and pressure and it it makes it gets interlocked right fine with this knowledge we start this chapter here you go hold on okay wonderful names of our wool okay so the first thing is wool is the hair on the sheep uh, body of the sheep it is uh, its scaly surface and wavy cream makes it different from the other types of wools right you know that the composed of proteins of course all the hair is protein right so wool is a hair with protein fine so it is natural protein fiber and the uh, richest source is sheep fine so the sheep wool is soft elastic and warm it makes you warm now uh, the pelts of sheep were among the first clothing worn by prehistoric uh, men pelts is the cover made they made clothing and they the first thing they wore because they thought okay the sheep can survive in cold weather we will take its uh, uh, wool and will will also survive in the cold weather, right? So uh, it was discovered that these fibers can be sprung into yarns and felt in felt in the felt in came here, right? So uh, maybe six thousand BC to four thousand BC, excuse me, right? So they discovered that merino ship. There's a ship called merino ship uh, has good quality wool, and here is the merino ship ka photo, right? You got it? Fine. Now in India, uh, I found in the plains, Ganga Jamuna plains, yeah, okay, and, and even before one million years ago, fossils are found in the Mohenjo-daro also. That Aryans were the first people to rear sheep for wool in Punjab, Tibet, Central Asia, because it is cold area, right, hilly areas. Mughal era, in the Mughal era, uh, sheep rearing was a main profession of poor peasants. Now with that, there was the carpet industry made of wool, right? Got it? Very interesting. So, uh, this is basic information. Now, wool producing countries. Which countries produce wool in the world? Uh, four main countries. Australia, New Zealand, same area. South Africa and Argentina. Now, these all are in the Southern Hemisphere. Right? And uh, these countries along with the Uru, and they are very cold. Right? They are near the uh, Antarctica. So, and you, you, Paraguay, you, Uruguay. Uruguay is uh, near Brazil. Argentina fine and they export nearly all their wool to the countries of the northern hemisphere why good because coal the cold winds blowing in the southern hemisphere they don't have much of fine lands right okay now even Soviet Union up in the south in the north Soviet Union <coughs> Russia US China India British Isles they all produce good wool in India, it is nearly all states of India. You know, Jammu, Kashmir, Rajasthan, Gujarat produce more wool because it's more colder, cooler, right? Bihar, Andhra Pradesh, Himachal Pradesh, Maharashtra also produce wool. Fine? Interesting? Good. So, North Kashmir, Rajasthan and Gujarat. 
फाइन मी एंड देन महाराष्ट्र आंध्र प्रदेश बिहार हिमाचल प्रदेश हिमाचल इज इन नॉर्थ नॉर्थ इन साइड ओके सो दिस फोर आर लेसर वेरी नाइस I will frame questions with from this question chapter. I'll make give you MCQs so that in the exam you can remember all these things interestingly and revise. Okay, okay, fine. Types of wool uh, fibers. One point two is type of wool fibers. One point three is how do is the uh, how is wool manufactured, right? You can go see this. Uh, there are various steps involved. One point four is properties of wool uh, fiber. What are the properties, right? One point five is uses, right? so and uh, so that's it this is a very small chapter so let us start with uses where it is used now wool fibers are uh, naturally uh, crease resistant because they form creases like in shorts and pants and you know, dresses no right they are uh, <coughs> elastic absorbent warm and comfortable fashionable too to so apparel apparel is dresses most important is for apparel coats jacket suits coats are different thing jacket suits dresses are made skirts are made wow so uh, these are all in mainly used in uh, uh, we may not see much of that in india but yes in foreign countries okay so knitwear yeah we see in india sweaters slacks socks sportswear caps stockings hand gloves scarves everything is made of wool so it is blended mixed with cotton it uh, wool contributes warmth okay if co cotton is uh, if cotton is added to wool wool is added to cotton the wool makes it more warmer resilient resistance and drapeable you can cover it you know you can use it and cotton adds strength cotton adds strength wool rather than have strength right and cotton is cheaper reduces the cost okay so blends are more uh, famous now there are different synthetic fibers these are natural ones synthetic ones are nylon rayon acrylic polyester they are also added with wool people keep on experimenting all the fibers they keep on mixing okay so then okay second household uses in home furnishing area the major use of wool is in carpets and rugs yes very nice rugs they make in carpets curtains blankets upholstery fabrics are also made of all the things we use in the kitchen no small small things okay so apparel household industries industry it is used in fence and i told you fence you know they are used on the heavy machine to help decrease the noise yes very important very thick fence they make extra uses uh, fence are making of rugs hats wallets shoes fancy articles toys now kashmiri rugs are called namdas they are also made from felt okay so apparel and uh, you have uh, household and then you have uh, industries and extra etc so namdas namdas got it so five uses of wool clear i hope it's going good with you right why did i start with wool uh, properties for because it, we know that right now the properties uh, microscopic properties physical properties and uh, you have biological properties wow and thermal properties four types biological properties mildew effect of mildew uh, wood is not susceptible to mildew i mean the little little snow that comes through right okay so uh, it th th doesn't get uh, wet but it left in a uh, damp area in a uh, wet area then it will make a mildew will develop okay next moth you know the moths are formed no <laughs> now wool protein what is wool protein keratin keratin you may have heard in all the girl uh, hair uh, advertises no keratin rich uh, hair oil and all that right so keratin is wool wool and fiber protein and uh, so it is a modified food product so you know, for the bacteria right so it can be attacked by insects insects may eat it uh, now moth that is the but butterfly which uh, but usually when the butterfly sits it sits close with the uh, wings some butterflies sit like this when they sit somewhere so they are called moths so they love wool so you have to be very very careful about that effect of moth is there right yeah. thermal properties heat wool gets damaged and loses its softness due to heat so you should not press it okay uh, warm water and moderate temperature of iron very less and warm water is important 
and in if it is a flame will burns the slides but in but 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 it my sound it makes fine it burns with the smell of similar to the burning of hair because protein no feather hair leaves all are different ways of proteins okay fine heat conductivity it is a very bad conductor it doesn't pass the heat from one side to another right so therefore you, you will not feel the heat uh, you will, your heat will be there in the body and it will not go out and the cold you will not feel inside right okay that's it so thermal properties heat and conductivity uh, biological milieu and moth you should be very careful right of moth physical properties length luster strength elasticity and uh, resilience density moisture i'll tell you everything length they usually from 1 inch 1 inch is this much to 20 inches the small scale no you roll up you use 15 cent, uh, inches to 20 inches most are from 1 to 8 inches this this height yes from here to here okay fine wools are shorter coarse wools fat wools are longer coarse means fat so short wools are 1 to 4 <laughs> just finger finger half of the finger the, the this is 1 8 this is 4 okay the term is no noils not coils noils longer ones are 8 inches right and their tops small ones are noils big ones are tops clear luster luster is the uh, shine no a uh, luster varies and it depends on the origin of the uh, sheep uh, the sheep breed and the wild climate many wools have a loud good excellent luster carpet wool so finest wool do not have high luster remember poor poor quality wool have great luster okay because fine wool has more uh, scales small 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 hairs so reflection is less got it ulta it is ulta kahani now strength it is uh, not as strong as cotton and silk and it loses strength when it it is wet okay 20% 20 20% it loses strength wow elastic uh, recovery and elongation it is a wonderful elasticity and extensibility right so uh, so that is the best thing they have <laughs> right therefore it uh, it doesn't get damaged easily due to body movements Res resilience again re uh, springing back to its normal shape coming back uh, that is resilience density is good uh, the density is low resilience is good density is not it is not very dense right uh it is about 1.3 grams per centimeter cube that is a, that, that is a standard so but then it is not very dense it is very soft you can press it right that is the best point they have moisture wood fibers are hygroscopic than any of the vegetable fibers and slightly more than silk so wood uh therefore they can be dyed easily because they absorb a lot of moisture so they can they absorb a lot of dyes and they become colorful wow okay fine so that was it length luster strength re resilience durability elasticity density moisture got it biological was mildew and moth and uh, uh, temperature was th thermal was heat and uh, uh, conductivity right last one microscopic properties now if you see in the microscope you know you'll see some scales like the fish fish no fish scales they have small small this helps in providing warmth lot of layers so scales are seen diameter is uneven and slight luster is there fine this is very important got it so we have done this now uh now we are going to the main part the next part is uh, manufacturing process of wool and we will go for types of wool now what is the types of wool merino wool comes from merine okay and then you have lambs wool hogget wool pulled wool wether wool and taglocks wow so many okay merino is the best quality and uh, uh, the length is short 1 to 5 cm but the fiber is very fine and elastic it has a lot of crimp uh now uh, scales are there lot, lot, lot of scales are there right excuse me so it is more warm best quality fine what is crimp Crimp is the waviness, the waves. How 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 shape how the curvy hair you have, that the crimps, right? Curviness. Okay. 
लैम्स बोल द फर्स्ट फ्लीज शेयर फ्रॉम अ लैम लैम इज अ स्मॉल बेबी अबाउट सिक्स टू एट मंथ उसके जो फर्स्ट फ्लीज फर्स्ट हेयर इज कॉल्ड लैम्स बोल ओके इट इज कॉल्ड फ्लीज बोल और फर्स्ट क्लिप वेरी फाइन वेरी सॉफ्ट बट नॉट वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग ओके राइट हॉग इट वुल विच इज ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम शिप ट्वेल्व टू फोर्टीन मंथ्स फोर्टीन मंथ्स इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टाइम नो वाई इज अ फोर्टीन मंथ्स इंपॉर्टेंट ट्वेल्व टू फोर्टीन इज हॉग इट रिमेंबर After fourteen is weather. See, look down. Twelve to fourteen is hogget. After fourteen is weather. There are two types. Okay. What is pulled? When sheep are slaughtered for milk, their wool is pulled from the pelt. This is called pulled wool. Okay, they are not very good quality because the sheep is ready for meat. It doesn't have good quality of uh, hair. So pulled is a very special thing, right? So you have lamb, uh, uh, hogget, and uh, weather. Lamb is uh, eight six to eight months. Uh, Hogget is twelve to fourteen months. A minimum twelve, maximum fourteen, and fourteen beyond is better, right? Okay. Now, tag locks. What are tag locks? Now, uh, from the uh, ragged, discolored part of fleece, it is very low quality, and they they also use it. So it's called tag locks, right? Very cheap. Okay. Got it? So these are the four or five types. Mane is very merino. You know. Second is based on the age. Lamb is to eight six to eight months. Hogget is twelve uh, to fourteen months, and uh, weather is fourteen months and above. Uh, meat meat more wool, and you ext pull it. It's pulled wool, and all the wastage products you can get the tag wool, right? Ragged or discolored part of fleece. Fleece is the hair on the covering of the wool, right? Got it? Fine. So far so good. Now, how is wool manufactured? Simple. You can see the steps. The re removal of mil uh, uh, hair is called shearing. Shearing, right? Because the shears they use big scissors. Even electric things are used nowadays. Fine. So steps: sorting, grating, scoring, and then for woolen it is carding and spinning, and for worst it is carding, comb combing, drawing, rowing, spinning, right? So uh, worst. Woolen yarns and worsted yarns have two di two different uh, steps. Uh, four steps more in worsted, right? Look, the first step is uh, sorting. So wool sorting is done by skilled fibers. They are graded by the type, length, fair fineness, elasticity. They see this feel its strength and color. Scoring. Scoring is uh, wool contains oil and all those things impurities, right? So it is removed. All those impurities are removed, right? With alkaline agents, alkaline, not acidic, alkaline, soap and hot water. Fine. So the grease is removed, and the wool loses its thirty percent strength in this scoring. Scoring is very important. First, you sort out, grading, then you uh, clean it. Uh, alkaline reagent plus uh, soap plus water. Right. Now it is ready for processing. Now, first step is carding. Uh, now two types, woolen and worsted. I told you, right. So worsted. Uh, now that what are the two types? Carding makes fiber arrangement crisscross. Carding is make crossing it, not straight crossing it. That is carding. Fine. Now woolen clothes are also carded many times, but it's not combed like combing of a hair. It is not combed. Combing is not done in this uh, woolen uh, fibers. Okay. And uh, okay. So uh, in the uh, woolen uh, yarn, it directly goes to the next step. That is. uh directly go for spinning spinning is uh, uh, all the twist and turns and it is spinned into a dress right fine no in the manufacturing of woolen yarns wool fibers are passed to the rollers rollers covered with five wire te teeth which are revolved in the opposite direction the action distangles the fibers removes the fang by fiber tangles like your hair gets uh, tangled also removes foreign particle bodies right wool uh, Wool fibers tend to lie parallel after the being brushed, which is not desirable, as it is results in smooth yarn. Therefore, some of the fussy, hairy, and rough. So using oscillating device, one thin film or or, or silver is placed uh, di diagonally and overlapping each other. This makes fiber arrangement crisscross. So basically, the idea is to make it crisscross, right? It is carded many times, but not combed. Now, short fibers are not taken out of the silver, and uh, as Slacker twist than a worst uh, worst in yarns. Okay, 
कार्डिंग प्रोसेस के बाद इट गोज डायरेक्ट टू स्पिन ऑपरेशन नाउ इन दिस वर्स्ट इन फूड वॉट इज वर्स्ट इन यान द वुल फाइबर्स आर डिस्टाइबल स्ट्रेट एंड एंड मेड लाइट टू पैरल टू ईच अदर ओके कॉम्बिंग द इट इज अगेन द प्रोसेस रिमूव शॉर्ट फाइबर्स नॉइल्स ओके इट स्ट्रेंथ द रिमेनिंग टॉप्स टॉप्स आर बिग न फोर टू एट सेंट एट इंचज राइट सो इट रिमूव द स्मॉलर वंस मेक दम पैरल एंड देर नो इम्प्योरिटीज ड्रॉइंग ड्रॉइंग इज डन टोनी टू वर्स इन यार्स द प्रोसेस ड्रॉज ड्राफ्ट ट्विस्ट एंड विंस द स्टॉक मेक सिल्वर मोर कॉम्पैक्ट एंड कन्वर्ज इम टू स्लबर्स दिज आर डिफरेंट टेक्निकल टर्म्स यू कैन यूज टू इट रोविंग रोविंग अ स्लाइट ट्विंग इज इम्पॉर्टेंट इन दिस ऑपरेशन टू द होल्ड दिस स्लबर्स इंटैक्ट तो दे आर कॉम्पैक्ट एंड देन दे इज रोविंग टू मेक इट इम्पैक्ट राइट सो दिस विज द प्रोसेस राइट सो दैट दैट्स इट एंड दिस इज अ स्मॉल स्मॉल टेबल based on that and the questions will be this is a pakka question short short question so only carding slack twist is there here it is tight twist the yarns are weaker in the greater yarns fussy and thick this is smooth soft yarns this is harder uh, yarns okay it is make warm fibers and uh, lesser warm than woolen yarns are used to make sweaters and all those things here they are making for dresses and all those things so there are two types woolen is for making your Uh, warm things most of this for making dresses right so here we will finish the chapter next uh, uh, part we will be doing all the mcqs on this so you you know this chapter is very technical i know it some of them may have gone board bounces on you slowly we'll uh, cover all the aspects first round we have covered this second video we'll do that okay hope you liked it and you can subscribe and we'll keep on giving you more thank you very much